<laughs> Buds in a cannot lie. Hi, I'm Avi. And I'm Amy. And, and this, this is, is the AA, AA meeting. meeting. How are you? Me or them? Everyone. I'm... Answer. Three, two, one. Great. That's wow. good. I'm so happy for what you. What about you? That's exciting news. Um, me personally? Yeah. Oh, great. Happy to be here. Yeah. Um, for episode number, what is it? 47. Seven. Mm-hmm. Woohoo. How are you? I'm a- Woohoo. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. That's good. I'm good. I have had a rough start to the morning. I did just lose a nail while we were filming the dance part. Oh, you got um, one nail missing? Only one missing, yeah. That's kind of chat. I know. But, but I didn't plan on it, you know what I mean? Like, mm. I sat down ready to film with a full set. Mm. Well, I got angry and ripped all mine off, so. Yeah, I think I'm getting close to that point. Wow. Anyway, they're cute for like a day or two and then. And then you just realise that you can't be a normal human with nails. I haven't been able to type messages. Yeah, you have to type on the sides of your thumbs. Yeah. You can't, what, what, you can't pick things up off the floor like a Mm -hmm. card or Mm -hmm. coins. Have you tried that? A card, yeah, not coins. So hard. Coins is hard. You can't. Squeeze a pimple. And, oh, I what was else? trying to do one on my chin and now yeah. it's just red and angry because I can't Literally, you can't do it. do it. What else can't you do with nails? Um, Lots of things. Like, wipe your bum. Like, it's really quite a problem. It's such a process just, like, getting through life with nails. Yeah. And y'all think it's just for funsies. I don't understand the people who have, like, the really long... How do you... Would well, They would probably just have people doing things for them. Right. I would just get so annoyed. Yeah. I'd rip them all off. Yeah. Anyway, um, welcome back to another episode. <laughs> <laughs> Where we just like complain about being a girl. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we've got lots more complaining to do today. Mm. Um, as per usual. As per usual. You know. Get excited for that. I can't wait to be told again on TikTok this week that <laughs> we're just mean to boys and mean to everyone and yeah. have no brain cells. But we do get told that we're tens, so that's kind of fun. One... One comment in 300 is something like, oh, wow, guys, great work. Keep it up. <laughs> no, someone commented, um, I love your friendship. Oh, that's really lovely. I uh, know. I love it too. That's very nice. If that yeah. was you, thank you. Yeah. For spreading kindness. It was about our um, Udi one and we were oh, dancing. Yeah. How good was that? If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's on our Instagram and our TikTok. We yeah. This little Udi TikTok thing and it's, I think it's pretty great. I reckon I've watched it about a thousand I have times. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> if you do say so yourself. Yeah. Um, anyway, do you want to get into it? Mm-hmm. Let's then roll the intro. Yours was a bit ASMR. That was nice. Yeah, I was trying to go for like a mysterious vibe. Oh, I wasn't on the same page. <laughs> you. Welcome to my up home, I'm Lil Shorty, these my hoes, this is how we run this shit, piss Olympics, let's go! So Abby, how's your week been? You're fully vaxxed now. Yeah. Big girl things. I'm ready for pick-ons. Pick-ons. Yeah, kick-ons with picnics. Yeah. With picnics, yeah. Um, but we had a pretty fun week, we right? We did, uh-huh. Our, <laughs> that was me like passing the baton. Yeah, sorry. Um, our housemate slash best friend Yasmin. Mm-hmm. It was her People birthday. Know. Yeah, yeah. It was. We won't say how old she is because she'll get mad at us probably. Um, it was her twelfth birthday <laughs> on Wednesday. We had a yeah. great day. We're still unfortunately in lockdown until tomorrow. Yes. Today's our last day of lockdown. Yeah. Or full lockdown. Um, but I think we made the most of it. We did. We basically started drinking at ten a.m. Yep. Finished at at least 10 p.m. It was at least 12 hours of drinking. Yeah. Yeah, I think I was in bed at 11. Yeah. So, um, yeah, big day. Yeah, and the sun turned out for us. And it was just like a wonderful time. It was a really We played Fong. (gasps) Yes. Okay, we've come up with a new game. A new game we've invented called Fong. Fong. Spelled um, F-O-N-G. Yeah. Fong. We could could spell it P-H-O-N-G. Fong. Yeah. I get for that fun. That might be fun. Yeah. yeah. Or we could do one of those weird things like how they spelled Pfizer. We could do P F O N G. I like that because we came up with it in lockdown. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so you want to tell us about it? We're big, big pong fans. Yeah, so, so it basically it's like four way beer pong. Uh-huh. So you do need two pong tables uh-huh. and prefer- preferability. Yep, that's you know what word. I'm trying to say? <laughs> um, one that's like slightly taller or smaller than yeah. the other because basically you just make them one big cross. Mm-hmm. So one table goes over the top of the other one. One goes under the other one and it looks just like a big X marks the spot. Uh-huh. And like normal Pong, you have 10 cups on each one. So on the whole table, we had 40 cups. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It is. Okay. And so then you would be opposite someone. Uh-huh. You'd throw the ball whenever it sunk, when you threw it, everyone rotates around to yeah. the next person side of the fong table yeah. am i making sense yeah yeah so you go in a circle like taking turns until someone sinks it yeah so everyone goes one by one and then when you sink it everyone on all four ends has to switch has positions. to rotate yeah once you sink uh if your cup in front of you was just sunk by your opposite opposition you got to pick up the cup drink it and hold on to that cup for mm-hmm. the entirety of the game mm-hmm. and if your opponent opposite you sinks like six cups you have to drink all six and you have to be holding all six yeah the whole time Mm -hmm. and then we played it so like i reckon you could play it you could play it till the end yeah to get through all the cups yeah which i think would be fun but we were on a time crunch because we had a zoom thing with some of our other friends that we were already like an hour late to yeah so we just played it so that whoever like had 10 cups in their hand first lost and then everyone else counts their cups and we figure out who won but i think it'd be fun if you went right to the end because Mm. like people would have be drinking more than 10 cups you know like you'd be plastered yeah Anyway, but it was so much fun. Yeah. We can insert a little picture of it. Yeah, I took one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's a little fun game for you guys at your pick-ons. At your pick-ons. Because you could take <gasps> some tre- trestle tables to the to, the to picnic. picnics. Yeah. Because now we can have outdoor gatherings of 30 people. Mm-hmm. As of tomorrow. Right? 30? I think so. Yeah, because it's 20 at your house. Yeah. Is that right? Or 10 um, at your house? No, uh, maybe it's, I don't know. It's like 10 or 20. Yeah, I don't know. maybe 30 is the next one. Probably. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that was really exciting. I think Yaz had a really nice day. We yeah. had a really nice day. Everything's good and dandy. Yeah. Um, a lot to drink, a lot of fun. A lot of fun, a lot of alcohol. Yeah. We did like a cocktail competition again. Oh, it wasn't a competition. It was a, a presentation. presentation. Yeah. yeah. We took away the competition because obviously Yaz would just have to win anyway. Um, yeah because it was her birthday and that's only fair but then Abby and I are too competitive to let that happen that's true (laughs) so it was just a presentation yeah but it was still like Loki was it like a competition for you Oh, a little bit yeah Yeah. I was like I have to win yeah there's no prize but I'm winning yeah agreed um but I think we all just thought ours were the best you know what I mean yeah (laughs) Abby's was straight alcohol so (laughs) (laughs) but mine was fun it like, was straight alcohol. It was like taking a shot every time you took a sip. Yeah, but isn't that like what you... I mean, you're getting banged for your buck. I didn't pay for it. And it came, and it came with an umbrella and sour lollies. Yeah. Like, I think it was... You did do well. It was one to beat. And I wanted it to be like really strong to like hit us because we were kind of like taking it easy yeah. throughout the day because we didn't want to be plastered by 2 p.m. Yeah. And so I did want it to like take us through the home run you know I just thought it was so funny because mine was second so I was in between the two girls and I said to Abby like oh I didn't put like a lot of alcohol in it because about half an hour before that Abby had been like oh I feel like I'm drinking a lot like I really want to pace myself like Mm. I want to be careful blah blah blah." and I was like okay well I'll take it easy like I won't make mine super strong they can just be yummy and refreshing and then Abby comes out with giant shots (laughs) I was like where's the loyalty (laughs) I was compromising. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You were just, yeah, making up for mine. Yeah. Yeah, fair. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. That's lovely. Um, we had someone send something in. Yeah. Is it like an advice? No, okay. So I thought this would be fun to talk about on the podcast. Basically, she's in year 12 and it's her senior year. Lovely. You get senior jerseys, you right? Mm-hmm. And she wants us to decide what's going to be on her senior jersey. <gasps> Which is just too much power to give us, if I'm being honest. Do they have, like, rules? About they it? probably would. So her name is Jazzy. I'm guessing Jasmine or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, these are some of her choices, okay? So we can choose one of them. We can come up with one of our own. Okay. Um, choices are, number one, Mommy, but M-O-M-I, okay. J-B at the end. Because uh-huh. hers, oh, it's that's her initials, J-B, Mommy uh-huh. J-B. Or number two, Dayum 
mommy. She said, okay. sadly, mummy is not acceptable. So like M-U-M-M-Y. Right. Um, so we've had to compromise with M-O-M-I. I do like what she's getting at. Yeah. And if they said that that's okay, M-O-M-I? I'm assuming, yeah. Right. Oh my goodness, fun. Okay, so her name's, her initials are JB. Hmm. Justin Bieber. Maybe she could get the Biebs. The Biebs. Mummy Biebs. Mummy Biebs. <laughs> Mummy Biebs. Mummy Biebs. But Biebs like B E E B. Yeah. Is that how you spell Biebs? Oh, uh, B E I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mummy Biebs. What's Justin Bieber's mum's name? I'm going too far, I know, but like. <laughs> I was about to be like, Hayley Bieber. <laughs> you yeah. just get Hayley Bieber on it. Um, mm. Or she could get Mummy Sorry. Because that's that TikTok yeah. trend that's going Is around. Is that where she's got the mummy thing from? I don't know. Oh. Maybe she's the mum of the group. Right. Um. So which one do you prefer of those or do you have a third wildcard option? I like the damn mummy. Damn mummy. That one. Um. Me too, but for your jersey, should I have something a bit more to do with her? Like. I don't know because like, I can tell you what I got on mine and I regret it every day of my life. What did you get? Did you get Amy? I got, basically there was more than one Amy and I was. So you got like, Amy B? Yeah. That was it. And it's so boring. You should have got Amma B. Amma B. Up in the they were really like strict on our year on what we couldn't. couldn't but I M M A B. Yeah. See, I wasn't that intelligent back then. Apparently, <laughs> I had nothing. Like I was going to get my name and my middle name. Like I had no idea. And then. Oh, my friends were like, you can't just get Amy. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll get Amy B. Like, anyway, regret it. If I had my time again, I'd be Little Ames. Little Ames. Yeah. But that start, that nickname started when I was in year 12. Like, and we'd already put the name yeah. Um. So don't get something boring because you'll regret it. Yeah. I remember in my school, we went, like, you know, your year seven camp is like generally to, um, what's it called? Canberra. Canberra, yeah. My school was just a bit extra. We went to Tasmania because mm-hmm. we were like studying deforestation. So we went down there and um, everyone had beanies because we were in the middle of winter. It was freezing mm-hmm. and everyone had beanies and you got your whatever you wanted on your beanie. And like everyone was getting the most ridiculous things ever. Like literally one of the boys got I don't know on his beanie and other people got like freaking lizard, like just <laughs> random stuff and like and the teachers freaked us out because they were like, if you've lost your beanie, because we had to wear a beanie whenever mm. we left. They're like, you, if you've lost your beanie and it has a stupid name and I have to hold up the beanie in front of all of year seven and say, who owns, I don't know. Yeah. Like, she's like, you owe me a dollar. <laughs> and so my, my friendship group was scared yeah. of like getting silly names. So I just got Abby on mine and I regret it. Yeah. See, it's not fun when you get something boring. Yeah. That's why I like the damn, damn mommy. One. I like mommy JB, but maybe she could write, maybe it could be Justin's mom. I like Justin's mom. Yeah, or, or momager. Is that ma- manager and mom? Is that how yeah, it's? Yeah, yeah. Like Chris Jenner. Yeah. Yeah. But I like Justin's mom. Yeah. That's kind of funny. Or JB's mom. The only time that would be awkward is if she goes to school with a Justin. <laughs> that might be a little strange for Justin. He's like, but... mommy? Sorry, <laughs> mommy? But he's going to have to learn to live with it. I like Justin's mom a lot. So do I. <laughs> or like, or JB's mom. I like, she's, she's got mommy JB, mm. but maybe it's funny to go JB's mommy. Yeah. Like you're, you're Justin's mom. Yeah. Why won't they take mommy? Because they probably think it's, like, sexualized or something. Right. Hmm. I really Have like you got Justin's mum. No, I like that. Because before I was going to take it a step further and find out what her name is. But then that's a lot of explaining you have to do. I like Justin's mum. Or... But maybe it's not, it's not even to do with JB. It's just because her initials are JB. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, what's her last name? We probably can't say it, okay? Bullock. Bullock. Sandra. <laughs> I like Sandra. <laughs> Sandra's daughter. Sandra's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That's kind of cool. What's a big movie that Sandra Bullock was in? <laughs> Are we taking it too far? No, no such no. thing. Um, isn't she Miss Congeniality? She is. 
Step there you go. Jeannie. <laughs> Jeannie. <laughs> Miss. Miss. <laughs> what else is she in? Is she the one that's in the proposal? Yeah. Wedding. <laughs> Just wedding, yeah. Um, Mrs. Reynolds. I haven't seen that. No, 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 as in, because Ryan Reynolds is oh, in the, the co-star. <laughs> right. That's interesting. Um, They're in Alaska. Maybe Alaska. Maybe Alaska. Maybe Northern Lights. She's in The Heat with Melissa McCarthy. Oh, Melissa's friend. Melissa's friend. <laughs> um, it's hot. <laughs> the heat. Menopause. <laughs> Men. <laughs> And RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got a lot of drag race. <laughs> we just spat out about twenty options for yeah. you there. Jasmine. If you don't have a winner, Jasmine, then I don't, I don't know how to help. Okay, you. if you had to pick one of those, what would you pick? <clears throat> um, my favorite is just men with a full stop. But I don't know if they'll take that if they're not taking mummy. Men. Just men, short for menopause. Oh, okay, cool. Because Sandra Bullock was in the heat. <laughs> <laughs> right, and her last name is Bullock. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, that's nice. I like that, man. <laughs> what would yours be? Um, mine would probably be, I'm really vibing the Justin's mum. Justin's mum is good. But like M-O-M, Justin's yeah. mom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a solid option. Uh, yeah. I hope that she doesn't hate Justin Bieber. Selena's ex's mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why doesn't she get got to keep an eye out for Selena? <laughs> That's good. Uh, Is there That's a, good. a limit, limit to letters? Probably 11. I think that's what ours was. I don't know. But you could shorten that, I'm sure. G. G. Two. G. T. Got two. K. K. H. I. Wait, what's H? Her. Oh, her. Sorry. I. O. F. S. That's kind of good. I like that. That's yeah. my favourite, actually. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, Jazzy. Um, let us know what you picked, please. Yeah. Maybe we can update everyone. Well, it's due at the end of the week. Okay, cool. Yeah. So this comes out on Wednesday and I think it's due on Friday. So she's got two days to decide. Okay, cool. Hopefully yeah. by our next episode, we know what she chose. And we can yeah, maybe let's it. do a poll on our Instagram story yeah. and get some people to help out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You've got my hand. Um, lovely. Shall we move right along? Yeah. Um, so I was thinking this week, because life has been really tough with everything closed. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we've had to kind of fend for ourselves a little bit, you know, like the, the, gro- the retail stores aren't open, nail salons aren't open, hair salons aren't open, a lot of things aren't open. So we've had to kind of figure it out ourselves for the last four months. And it got me thinking, there are a lot of skills that we don't give people enough credit for having. Yeah. <clears throat> for example, nail techs. I mean, just take a look at my hands. <laughs> yeah, they're These pretty good at their job. Not done by, and a they do it so quick. When we've done our nails, takes hours. hours. We sat was, there for four hours. Yeah, four episodes of Ginny and Georgia. Yeah, they're, they're, and they're like fifteen minutes each. Actually, no, we watched an episode of Lux Listings before that. <laughs> <laughs> so five hours. I think so. And they look like that. <laughs> that means it took half an hour per nail. That probably adds up, yeah. That's awful. Um, do you have any? Hmm, let me think. Yeah, go ahead. Do you have any, Abby? This might be a bit controversial, but Centrelink phone workers. <gasps> <laughs> Look, they've got calls backed up for hours. They would be copying it. Yeah. I mean, like... Not even just Centrelink. Like, I called to cancel one of my VAX appointments because I couldn't go. I was on hold for two hours. Yeah, people who were Just to centers. cancel. Yeah, that's nuts. That would be... I mean, I'm almost certain that, like, the phones must be ringing and they must just not pick up. Like... Yeah, but there's got to be thousands of people calling. Yeah. And I, I hate it when they, when they tell you how many people are in the queue. Yeah. They're like 37 in the queue. And I'm like, oh my God, am I the 38th person just sitting here waiting? Yeah, that's crazy. So crazy. Um, my next one is um, bartenders. Mm, okay. Because we've made a lot of cocktails and things in lockdown. And imagine doing that. Like it will take us an hour to make three of the same cocktails in a cocktail competition. Yeah. Imagine trying to pump through all of them. Yeah. And all imagine you ones. get a little white girl table and they order... 12 mojitos yeah mojitos take time yeah and like it's not like they have a big 
bucket jug. Like, you know, they've got to kind of do two – they can only do the max two in a shaker at once. Yeah. Yeah, and then also, like, the shaker itself, that's hard work. Yeah. And you're dealing with drunks. Yeah, exactly. They need more credit. Yeah. Do you have any more? Agreed. Okay, this one's, like, not as funny, but, like, nurses. Yeah. When I was in the hospital the other day for my vax, um, there was so many – people waiting and I was literally like right at the front of the line so I could hear what all the nurses and stuff were saying in the room and literally like one of the main nurses ran in and she was like she's like nurses attention they all like looked and then she was like don't take your dinner break we can't take our dinner break we've got to get through all these people and all the nurses were like okay and you can tell that they'd already worked like a 10 hour shift god I feel bad for them they do crazy hours yeah literally 12 hours is a normal shift that's nuts my God, I haven't worked in four months. <laughs> I sleep for 12 hours. Yeah. Like, that's a big time. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, like, pest control people. Mm-hmm. Um, They've got to deal with a lot of stuff, don't they? Yeah, all the people that have to come and, like, take animals away. Like, if you have a snake in your yard. Oh, yeah. Have to come and, like, t- I know that they're, spe- like, highly trained and they're probably, like, passionate about their jobs, but, like... They're putting themselves at risk. You know what I mean? And like similar to that, we have a wasp nest out the back at the moment. I don't know if we're supposed to call someone. Like, do we get rid of the nest? Yeah, like do we do we touch that? I do don't we, think that that's safe. Do we let it grow? I definitely don't think that that's right. But like who do we call? Yeah. And then so that person that comes and removes wasps' nests for a living. Good on you. <laughs> True. But then maybe we're supposed to do it. I don't know. I don't really know. Maybe we should. I'll ask my dad. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> dads there's a good one. Oh, they don't get enough credit the number of times i call my dad and ask a stupid question mm. per week would astound you <laughs> dads are just like the neighborhood watch yeah. you know they're, they're always observing mm-hmm. they're always they've always got the answers as well yeah how do they know everything i don't know good on you dads yeah <laughs> well, while we're out at the mums yeah Pushing a watermelon out? No, mm-hmm. thanks. No, thanks. Imagine being in lockdown with kids as a mum. Yeah, that months. is not good. Absolutely not. It's no from me. Yeah. <laughs> good on you, mums. Um, slight segue, window washers. <laughs> Stuff that, hey. That's scary. And, like, all that's holding you up is that little lever. Mm. Like, I could just lean out my window and snip the lever and you're gone. I wouldn't yeah. do that. But you know what I mean? No, but psychos might. They might. And I know they get paid, like, a lot more because it's, it's high, high risk. risk. But what I if it's a windy it's day? Like, yeah. Do they still do it if it's a windy day? I don't know. But it's always windy higher. It's true. If you wash windows for a living, let us know what the safety requirements are. <laughs> oh, I got one. Mm-hmm. Like... Kind of like beauty therapists, but like hairdressers and stuff. Yes. Because they're on their feet for like 10 Um, hours and they have to listen to all of your trauma. Yeah. You know, because when you're sitting there, like you open up to your hairdresser, they're like, hi, how are you? And you just start crying. You know, it's just like therapy. (laughs) But like they literally have to listen to all your bullshit and do your hair. True. And also like aside from that, it's a, it is a skill. Yeah. Look at all the people who have tried to do their own hair in lockdown and it's not going to plan. It's all over the internet. Like, they're good at their, at what they do. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't think people give them enough credit. Yeah. Um, any others? No, I think that's it. I think that's all I have too. So, basically, <laughs> there's this thing that was going around a bit ago yeah. where you Google your birthday and you, you, you Google Florida man after it. Yeah. And, basically, it tells you something crazy that happened on your, the day you were born in Florida. Yeah. And they're pretty cooked. They are. Yeah. Pretty crazy. So we thought we would Google ours and share them with you guys and laugh. Love that. Do you want to go first? Sure. Okay. So the headline is for April 23rd, 2019. Mm -hmm. Florida man in Easter Bunny brawl is a fugitive and talks about his furry first fight. A guy in an Easter Bunny suit caught on a viral video was punching another man outside an Orlando nightclub Saturday night. (laughs) So that's kind of cool. That's a fun one. Yeah, Easter. (laughs) Okay. Mine is Florida man arrested after spraying people with fire extinguisher at Walmart. (laughs) Does it give any more info? 
Um, I suppose that's all the info you need. He was yeah. arrested. A Florida man was arrested after reportedly spraying people with a fire extinguisher in Walmart. For- what? Was it his own extinguisher or did he get it off the shelf? I'm assuming he like took the Walmart one. I don't think he would oh. come with his own. I don't know. You never know. Uh, he's 33 years old. Greg David Atkinson. Oh, call him out. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, according to the police report, Atkinson went to the Walmart um, on 12th Avenue and grabbed a fire extinguisher near the garden section. Police said that he started breaking windows, doors and anti-theft devices that totaled in more than $10,000 in damages. Let's go, David, or whatever his name was. Um, do you want to do a few more, like some other people we know? Yeah. Let's do Yasmin. Yeah. <laughs> what? Florida man interrupts Hurricane Matthew live TV report to yell, Dicks out for Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to do our friend Ella. Hers is, what? Why would you get arrested for that? Florida man arrested after dining on spaghetti with his bare hands. Dining on spaghetti? Eating spaghetti with his bare hands in a restaurant. Why is that? Oh, he was intoxicated and shoveling spaghetti with his bare hands. (laughs) So that's a public disturbance. I guess so. Oh, there's, there's heaps. Um... Florida man arrested after NSP troopers find over 400 pounds of marijuana. Ooh. Florida man accused of stealing samurai sword. Oh. <laughs> uh, Florida man threatens to bring terror with an army of turtles. Uh, Florida man arrested after stealing a car with a baby inside and hitting the mother. Florida is a wild place. It is. <laughs> and then there's more on the spaghetti one. Okay. Um, should we do Kirby's? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Kirby. Florida man steals vending machine. <laughs> Florida man arrested after stealing downed power pole. Um, oh, and then he drove away with the power pole on his car roof. Wouldn't that crush the car? Apparently not. <laughs> and then he drove on the highway. Okay. <laughs> with the light pole. Um, who else? Do you do Montana? Mm-hmm. Okay, our friend Montana is... I'm going to have to read. The, okay. Florida man steals alligator from golf course. Tries teaching it a lesson by throwing it on roof of bar. <laughs> teaching it a lesson. <laughs> what? How to golf? <laughs> no, he threw it on the roof of the bar. So, yeah, because like, it was naughty, I guess. <laughs> oh, fuck. Florida man arrested for luring robbery, robbery victims from a dating site. Florida man caught hiding heroin crack in his buttocks. <laughs> Florida man arrested for calling 911 nearly 100 times in one day. <laughs> he just wanted a dog to <laughs> Um, Lovely. Do we have any more friends? <laughs> I've had enough of Florida man, if I'm being honest. <laughs> it's too m- Like, how is there something every day? Florida's a big part. <laughs> Florida's a big place. With a high crime rating. Yeah, apparently. and there's millions of people there. <sighs> That's too much for me. What was mine again? Oh, spraying people with a fire extinguisher at Walmart. Oh, yeah. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My favourite is the power pole, I think. And then he went on the highway. <laughs> no, I like the crocodile one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How? No, that's actually impressive. He stole the crocodile. And then threw it? And got on a roof somehow. Without it killing you? Yeah, I don't know. Something, what are they, what's in the water in Florida? That's crocodiles. <laughs> okay, so we're going to play a game. Uh-huh. It's called Hot or Famous. Hot or Famous. Yes, and this is inspired from um, BFF's podcast, okay. the Dave Portnoy, Josh Richards and Brianna Chicken Fry one. Basically, the game is, are they hot? Mm-hmm. Or are they hot because they're famous? Right. So if they weren't famous, would you still look at them as hot and down the street? Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to kick it off then? Yeah. Let's kick start it with Pete Davidson. No, I think he's just famous. Personally. Right. What do you think? I agree. Yeah. Because like he's hot, but because he's Pete Davidson. Yeah. But if I walk past him on the street... I wouldn't be like, hey, how's it going? Not that I do that anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um... Okay, maybe this is just because he's a bit older than us, but Keith Urban. 
He's really big in the country crowd. My mum is absolutely in love with him. And I just think if you saw Keith Urban at the Cass on a Saturday night, would no. you be as excited? I wouldn't I wouldn't do a double take. No, me neither. No. No. So he's just famous. He's just famous. In our eyes. Yeah. Not in Kaz's eyes. <laughs> absolutely not. I'm getting a phone call this week. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> All right. Leonardo DiCaprio. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Let me think. If I feel like if I saw him in a bar and he was like dressed up, actually no, he's okay. He was really hot when he was younger. Yeah. Now, if I saw him in a bar, I wouldn't be like, "That's a hot older man." Yeah. But maybe if he was dressed really nice, I'd be like, "I can respect that other women might find him attractive." You know what right. I mean? So is he famous? I think right now he's just famous for yeah. me. What do you reckon? Um, I think young Leo was hot. Absolutely. Old Leo is like, gives me like Hugh Hefner vibes. Yeah, agreed. He'll end up like that, I reckon. Yeah, so I think I agree. Okay, lovely. Yeah. Johnny Depp. He's hot. You reckon? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like if I, I love a boy in eyeliner. <laughs> well, I think you're only thinking about Pirates of the Caribbean right now. <laughs> no, but him when he was younger as well. Yeah. I think he's hot. I think I'm going to put him on the same level as Leo. Right. Like, I think I wouldn't see him in a bar and be like, that is a sexy man. Right. So you're just saying he's famous. I think. For me, he's just famous. Yeah. He's not ugly. Yeah. But I think he's famous. All right. What about Jack Harlow? Oh, he's I, the one with the hype at the moment. So, yeah. like, you know how, like, ever, it goes through ever, like, Noah had the hype, Noah Beck, yeah. and then, like, Vinny had the hype. Now, like, Jack Harlow. I personally think he's just famous. And I know. Yeah, no, gonna, I agree. Oh, I thought you were going to disagree with me. No, he, the only reason he's hot is because he's famous. Yeah. But he's hot. You know? I thought before, though, like, if I walked past him on the street, I wouldn't be like, oh, my God, that was an attractive boy. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, neither, because I think it's his, like, charisma and, yeah. like, his chat. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. That was a good one. Mm. Um, Timothy Chalamet. He's hot and talented. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't know his talent if you walked past him on the street. If he was acting, <laughs> if, he was, if he was acting shy, I'm like, wow, that's a shy boy. He's talented. <laughs> yeah, I think he's cute. He's like so it. good looking. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a hot rating. Okay, here's one. Paul Rudd. Is that his name? Oh, the actor from like This Is Forty and stuff. Yeah. Famous. Famous. Okay. I think he looks a bit like a dad. I got these another days. one to back that up, Steve Carell. Famous. I'm putting that Do as people... hot. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting famous. I was gonna say, is he considered I got another a one, sexy Will, man? Will Ferrell? Oh, she's just firing about me. Famous. <laughs> but him when he was younger. Mm, still famous. Still famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, The Rock. Oh, I think he's kind of a sexy man, if I'm honest. He looks like an erect penis. Because <laughs> he's all veiny. Yeah, but okay, without the muscles, famous. Yeah. With the muscles? Intimidating, yeah. yet storming. Rise and shine. <laughs> okay, I'll do a girl. Kylie Jenner. It's hard because, like, yeah, she's hot, but, like, it is all... Yeah. cosmetically done yeah. and also she's so famous because like she didn't have a choice in that yeah but i think she's hot yeah yeah would you agree i think she's hot mm. um but like i don't know about if she didn't have all of that you know what i mean but yeah. like we'll never know what she would look like all right what about the hadids oh hot hot well okay i have an actual girl crush on Gigi. right what's her sister's name bella bella I think if I saw Bella in real life, I'd still be like, that is an attractive woman. Yeah. Yeah. He's one The weekend, but with the dreadlock mohawk. Famous. <laughs> Famous. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, Ed Sheeran. Oh, hi. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Famous. Famous. But his talent makes him hot. And, like, s- s- sweet boy. Like, yeah. I just want to give him a cuddle. Yeah. Um, there's a lot more fugly famous men than women. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of sexist. Where's the fugly famous women? Let's go through all of the members of, the ex-members of One Direction. Okay. Let's start start with with Zayn. Okay, Zayn. No, I think he's hot. I I think think he's a pretty boy. I think so too. Mm -hmm. They're my eyelashes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Louis. Louis, sorry gonna be controversial but he's just famous i think so too yeah and like one of those people that i think like same vibe as jack harlow like the chat and the charisma yeah makes him hot but you wouldn't know that when you're walking down the street yeah liam i think he's hot i do too i enjoy him (laughs) so do i (laughs) um niall he's hot but like cutesy hot yeah i was a niall girl when Mm. i when one direction was thing and that Nile, hot. He has let himself go a little bit. Like, I hate to... But, like, I still put him in the hot. Like, if I yeah. saw him walking down the street, I'd still be like... Yeah. Um, Harry. Hot. I agree. I know I've said before that I wasn't really sure, but then, like, the more you look at him... Yeah, the more then I like, changed my mind. <laughs> the more you look at him, the more you're like, that's an attractive man. Yeah, that There's is no someone line. that was blessed with all the genes. Yeah. I feel like we haven't done many girls. Do you have any girls? I feel like all girls are just beautiful. Agreed. Women support women. Yeah. Unlike our yeah, TikTok comments. <laughs> so we bash men support women. Yeah, no, We really but, are feminists. <laughs> but I mean, in our TikTok comments, I get more offended when girls say mean things. I agree. I expect it from the boys. Yeah. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> I expect it from the boys, but when girls say Yeah, when mean, girls like, give us hate, I'm like, sister. <laughs> yeah, what? Literally. Women when a boy does women. it, I'm like, ha ha, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, all girls are beautiful. We stand by that. Don't come for us. <laughs> Do you have any more? No. Nah. All right, see you dates minus the pudding. This yes. is our segment where you guys send in your funniest, um, silliest, scariest, craziest dating stories and we tell them on here and laugh about them and laugh at you. Okay, so this isn't so much as a sticky thing that's happened. It's like happening and wants our advice. Oh, okay. okay. Hey, girls, I got a little dilemma for you. First of all, Abby has a real that's not problem. a word for you guys. <laughs> okay. It's not a word. Um, okay. So my boyfriend's turning 18 in a couple of months uh-huh. and wants to go to the strippers with his mates for his birthday. I personally don't think it's a great idea because I don't want him to get hard on another chick he sees slash get a lap dance from them. I also think it's a bit rude. And if it were me, all, uh, and if it were what? And if it were me all close with another guy, I know he would be pissed, but he doesn't seem to see why it's an issue. Anyways, just thought I'd get some female opinions to back me up. Thanks. Um, love the potty. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Okay. I do have an opinion about Okay. Because I have one as well. Situation. I don't know. I have no idea what yours... Neither. I have no idea what you're thinking, but you go first. Okay. I think that um like you shouldn't worry about what his reaction to another girl is getting like I've just always kind of thought like if I were in a relationship which I'm no longer um <laughs> so would he. I was trying to like <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to like beat around the bush and I was like well fuck it there you go okay well <laughs> this is news everyone um so I'm just she's not saying it I'm saying it go for it DMs are open uh, Amy's- no, I might cry if anyway whatever <laughs> It's been rough I was guys. wondering send me you- nice messages uh-huh. <laughs> I was wondering if you were gonna say anything I thought about doing it at the start and I was like, no, I don't want the vibes to be low. But anyway. But when I was in a relationship, this like happened to me. Like for, it was for one of the other boys' birthdays. Um, They were going to a strip club and that boy was single. And obviously right. my partner at the time wanted to go and ask me if I felt comfortable with it. I didn't give a shit really because as far as I'm concerned, if he goes and if, like, if he were to go and be like, oh, I wish that Amy looked more like that, then like, fuck you. I can, like, I don't care. You know what mm. I mean? Like. And I know it's easier said than done. And I know that you're like worried about him. I mean, that's a natural thing. He 
they, they can't really control what happens yeah. when they see some a lady's chest you know what i mean um but like if he's if you're worried about him going and being like oh i wish that my girlfriend looked more like that then fuck that you shouldn't be with him anyway you know what i mean if mm. he's gonna think things like that because as far as i'm concerned he should think that you're perfect in every single way so i mean i know that maybe you're a bit uncomfortable with it but like if you feel like it's gonna give him the wrong ideas and whatever then like that's a red flag i mm. think and that might be a little harsh but that's my opinion on that yeah what do you think yeah well that's funny i didn't think that that would be your opinion because that's like quite similar to mine mm. and i feel bad because i feel like this girl is asking for us to back her up yeah whereas like my opinion on it is it's a bit different because it's his 18th and he wants to go to the strippers yeah but it's if he's going out he's going out for the intention of just partying with his friends, having a good time. He's heard about strip clubs, seen them in movies, yeah. wants to go there for his 18th. That's like fine. If he's going with the mentality of, I want to see what else is out there, blah, 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 then obviously that's someone like you shouldn't be with anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I, ca- I agree in the fact of like, they can't control what happens and you can't control what's going on in their head. Yeah. What's the difference between him like watching porn and getting off to that to then like watching someone dance in front of them like you can't control how they feel and like what's going through their head and like even they could feel the same way they do about like the stripper like that emotion or feelings that it gives them about walking past a random on the street and you just don't know so like it's you know uh whatever I'm trying to say like it's yeah i want to say that like you do have every right to feel uncomfortable about it oh yeah i don't want to sit here and be like no you should be fine with it like if you're uncomfortable about it then like you're uncomfortable about it and that's a natural reaction and he and he should um validate your feelings yeah yeah Yeah. um but like i personally wouldn't have a problem with it yeah but i can see how people would me too and i also i also think though if that was us if we were 18 i would have a problem with it that's the other thing i was gonna say like i don't want to be like oh you're little and you don't understand but like if i was 18 yes i would definitely probably have had a problem with it it's only now that i'm a bit older that i'm like well i'm and you're secure in yourself and like when you're with someone you should be like secure in that relationship and you know we've had experience with that yeah. aspect of life but I think when if I was 18 and that was a situation I would feel uncomfortable with it and I would tell him that but I would hope that he would reassure me saying that you know yeah like he's just going with his friends anyway. yeah so I'm not sure. I'm not sure we're kind of going around in circles I with no, no end I mean, yeah I think talk to him and say that you feel uncomfortable but like I so don't what's think the advice have a fat chat, yeah. Have a fat chat. I don't think he's going looking for a new girlfriend, you know. Oh, my God. No. So, like, yeah, I think it's tough, but it's his 18th and that's... Yeah, let him have some fun. Do with the boys. But, like, he let, he let him know how you're feeling and he should let you know and reassure you of your relationship with agreed. him. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Yeah. Lovely. Um, should we don't understand? Yeah. Today, I am guessing... How does bug spray work? Sorry, it took me just a second to remember. Yeah, okay. How does like mozzie spray work? Erigard, all that business. My first... Wait, like Mortine or like... Are they all different? Well, like Mortine would like kill the bug, right? Oh, no, as in like Erigard that you spray on your skin. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. To, to protect like, repel you from the, the mozzies and yeah. stuff. Okay. Um, my first guess is that the smell of it, they don't like. And so they go away. A smell of what? Of the spray on your skin. Um, like, not really, but like, kind of. <laughs> um, okay. Not the smell, maybe the... Maybe it like releases some kind of gas that like makes them woozy or something. Oh, that's interesting. That's not the spray, but the like candles they release a gas Mm -hmm. so that's for that but for the spray you were closer with the smell but it's not the spray of the smell what it's not the smell of the spray maybe okay maybe they like the smell of skin 
but one that when the spray is on your skin, it changes the smell of your skin, and so they just don't notice anymore. Okay, that's getting closer. It doesn't change the smell. It like covers your smell. Okay, yeah. What's the smell? Like your natural body odor. <laughs> your bo. Your bo. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, you know what it is. Your pheromones. No, but like we're on the right track. Your vibes. Vibe check. And vibe <laughs> check. The mozzie's like, damn, 10 out of 10. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, not vibes. You, Think of this. You breathe in. Oxygen. Your carbon dioxide. Yeah. It changes the smell of that. It covers the smell of that. Yeah, okay. Oh. And so then they can't. Is it just that they don't see, like know that you're there anymore? Yes, they can't find you. Right. Is that why some people get bitten more than others? Like, yeah, because their their smell is obviously stronger. Stronger. Interesting. Yeah, and like that's like one. That's the main part of it, but there's like another thing along that. Am I guessing that too? Yeah, sure. Uh, can I have a hint? Um, you've already said it, kind of, but not when you were guessing. <laughs> You're like strip clubs, <laughs> <laughs> like um, da, 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 da. along with like the bug spray covering your scent, it also does something else to the bug or to me to the bug, and so the bug won't come near you make some woozy keep going or like it makes them feel sick so they go somewhere else what's the they go, they go to the bathroom <laughs> um what are the te- what are the the ads do they it has like the barrier what's they, that oh it makes them like when something's when you're being ugh, it disgusts them. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going with disgust. It repels them. Very close. It basically repels. It It makes them check their pulse. <laughs> it kills them. Right. <laughs> I'm playing sh- raw. I'm playing charades. <laughs> raw pulse. Repulse. Isn't that what I said? Oh, I said repel. <laughs> it repulses them. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty much what I was saying. <laughs> Roar. Pulse. <laughs> you like it kills them. <laughs> you look dead. <laughs> I was checking my pulse. <laughs> right. But yeah, and so it like repulses them. They're like, oh. Interesting. There you go. Yeah, kind of an easy chill one this yeah, week. Yeah, it's crazy how that but works. But the, right? the candles are a little different because they release a gas and it's derived from plants or something. Right. Because apparently if you're, which I don't agree with, apparently like when you're with somewhere in somewhere with like grass and plants, like there's no, like the bugs won't get you. But I feel like when you're in a forest type situation, there's you're more. getting attacked. Yeah. But apparently it's from derived from grass and plants and shit. And then put it into the candle thingy and then it's like the gas does that barrier thing and then like covers up your scent so that mm. they can't smell you. Very strange. But I always thought they would stay smelt your blood. So did I. Well, I didn't really know what they were looking for. Because midges, we on you. Like they don't suck your blood. Really? Yeah, mozzies suck your blood. Yeah. But midges just we on you. I don't think midges are a thing here. It's like they're big in Queensland. Oh. That's why when you feel it happen, you just got to wash it and then you won't get a um, bite. Why do we get a bite from a wee? I don't know how. It, it's like some reaction with your skin. That's disgusting. I know. But yeah, they wee on you. It's gross, <laughs> hey? That is gross. Have you ever heard whenever a fly lands on you? It, um, it poos. Oh, no, it oh. like um, gives birth to maggots. <gasps> Oh, yeah, okay, so clearly when I was younger, I thought poo and giving birth were the same thing because <laughs> that was in my head. <laughs> no, we were told maggots. Yeah. And when a fly would land on someone, we'd be like, ew, maggot. 
you wouldn't talk to them for the rest of the day. That's gross. Because they had maggots. I'm getting chills. Ugh. Um, let's move on then. <laughs> yeah. Question, question of the, the podcast. podcast. What's the question today, Abby? You ask me that every week and I don't know. Because I don't know today. The Prime Minister. Beck sent this question in. Hi, Beck. Oh, I thought you were like, I'm Beck. <laughs> oh, I was no. like, what? Hi, Beck. Hi, Becky. <laughs> What's that? Becky with the good ass. Becky. Yeah. With the butt. Well, there's, um. I, I am that bitch named, named Becky. Becky. Yeah. Nessie bitch. What's that one there? And it used to be those like Barbies and it was on YouTube and it was this like funny video. Oh, I never used to watch that. I know what you're talking about though. Anyway. Um, the... Yeah. Okay. Hi, Becky. <laughs> Yeah, so the question of the podcast this week is, if you were Prime Minister for uh-huh. the day, what would you do? Like, what would you, what new rules would you reinstate? What would mm-hmm. you take it out? What, what, what would you do? Mm-hmm. Day in the life of Amy as a Prime Minister. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I would make every Friday a weekend day as well. So every yeah. week we have a three-day weekend. Yeah, like um, TGIF Fridays. Yeah, yeah. agreed. Um, and it is mandatory by law that, um, everyone has to have taco Tuesdays, tacos every Tuesday. Okay. That's a I law. do like that. Mm. I like that one. What have you got? Um, I like the vibes of the day of the week. I might do like Wednesdays, like everyone has to wear pink. Oh, that's fun. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Um, I also want to make it a rule that, um, hmm, let me think. That when you're born, you have to um, pledge your allegiance to the AA meeting. Ah, good one. Yeah. Good one. I would make my own birthday a public holiday. Mm -hmm. And then I would just like do a big pub, like make appearances at different pubs. But like the law is that I'm not allowed to buy my own drinks. So like everyone has to buy drinks for me. That's cool. Yeah. I might make it one day a year where no one has to pay for drinks. (gasps) That's fun. The government pays for your drinks for a day. Yeah. That would be wild. So everyone can just get shit-faced on a Tuesday. Yeah, and you could get, like, fun cocktails and things. Yeah. For free. I really like that. Yeah, that's a cool rule. Um, do you have any other ones? Um, what else would I do? I would bring down the price of puppies because they're too expensive. I was expensive. just about to say about animals. I would, like, give animals to people, but, like, I would take away animals from people who don't treat them right and who don't have the like financial stability and like the room for animals yeah you know agreed. like only people who are financially stable are going to be in the house for 10 to 20 years have a big yard you can have a dog but that means that we can't have a dog here i know oh no we've got a big yard but we're not going to be here for 10 to 20 years i know but i mean like within that time frame of a pet you're not going to move into an apartment next year with a pet right, right. um lovely what else Maybe I would make it like um, within age brackets, mm-hmm. like what they did with the vaccine rollout. But um, each age bracket gets a week where they get to go and sit in a field of puppies. That's kind of fun. Yes, yeah, so like the nanas get to go yeah. and the 80 year old plus get to go in a field with puppies for a week. Yeah, I like that. And then like the next bracket, which would be like 60s to 70s. Yeah. And we'll jump down to 40s, 50s. Yeah, love it, love 30s, it. 30s, 20s, under. Yeah. I think also like um, I would send vouchers to people's houses for like groceries or like things that they need you know what I mean like yeah like a coupon like you've yeah. done really well this year yeah here's a buy one get one bottle of vodka so <laughs> being a one on me <laughs> yeah <laughs> only if we share yeah um I would give everyone a car when they turn 16 <gasps> that's a good idea yeah or your own choice of your mode of transport yeah no if I did it I'd give everyone electric cars because then also you're saving oh, the environment yeah, so you either get an electric car, bike, or skateboard. Yeah. Or Segway. Yeah. An electric scooter. I had one of them when I was growing up. They were lots of fun. Um, I would make the AA meeting mandatory viewing every Wednesday night. Yeah, um, everyone has to sit down TV. in their pink with a cocktail. Yeah. Yeah, and we get... What time did you say? Did you say time? I said prime time TV. Yeah, about 7 o'clock every Wednesday. Yeah. Everyone has to watch the AA meeting yeah. together. Mandatory. Yeah. Um, anything else? Um, I'd make it free to travel to, um, 
Europe. Mm-hmm. For party purposes. Yes. Lovely. I like that. Yeah. Um, do you have any other ones? What would you like take out that we've got now? Good one. Um, bike helmets. Really? Being legal. <laughs> yeah, it's just been but- a pain in the ass, if I'm honest. <laughs> They're not well. Maybe I would make them more fashionable. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. We should maybe do it we'd together, have a, like a, a beret, cool. a bike beret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because the helmet is somewhat necessary. Yeah. Okay. Understandable. Um. What else would I take away? I would take away restaurants serving certain cuisines because I want to go to a restaurant that has. Everything. every cu- cuisine that exists yeah because i find it like whenever i actually go to like say i'm going to a thai restaurant i always feel like pizza yeah or if i'm going to an italian restaurant restaurant i'll feel like chinese food yeah. you know so i want i want all restaurants or most of them or to have a strip of them all yeah like on one road where they're like every cuisine has to exist yeah agreed yeah Excuse me. um all right well i think that's just about all we have for today yeah Episode 47, Done and Dusted. Yeah, another one bites the dust. Absolutely. I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to keep sending in your sticky dates. Yes. Um, and like shit, we don't understand things because we are actually really struggling to come up with things that we don't know because we just know everything now. Yeah, we're just becoming Elon Musk. Absolutely. Yeah. We're pretty close. Yeah. We're catching up. Yeah. Um, yeah, follow us on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. I don't know what else I'm missing. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Give yep. us a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. And um, let us know what your Florida man birthday is. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I want to hear some of you guys. Yeah. If you can beat the the gator on the roof. <laughs> that one was pretty good. Also, don't forget, if you only listen to our episodes every week, we do have the visual version available on YouTube. And if you only watch every week, we do have the audio versions available that you can listen to while you're on the go or something. So basically, you have to listen to slash watch us twice a week. Yeah, agreed. One on YouTube, one just like audio. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Um, that's the new rule because we're prime ministers. Yeah, agreed. Um, anything else, Abby? I think that's it. Me too. But yeah, thanks for listening or watching and we hope you have a great week. Yeah, absolutely. And we might see you out on the town next weekend. Yes. We'll have fun stories about um, Freedom Week Mm -hmm. next week, I'm sure. Yeah. So look forward to that. Lovely. Bye, besties, and stay sexy. Woohoo. Welcome to my f***ed up home, I'm Lil Shorty, these my hoes, this is how we run this shit, Piss Olympics, let's go! Becky, look at her butt, it is so big!